Hey guys, Execrated here. So, with the new Halo 5 update came a glitch I'm calling Rec Merging, which is basically where you combine the properties of one Rec weapon into another. Now, this can only be done in Forge and Customs, but that's why I made a map that has all of my favorite amalgamations. This map can be found in my file share under the name Rec Arena. Now, when this map loads up, I'll show you all the stuff that I put on it, so that you can kind of get a preview before you download it. So I decided to break this into four different categories. This one being basic loadout modifications. These ones are the mildly interesting, I guess. And these two are the super OP variants that probably shouldn't even exist. So starting with these ones, there are two silenced weapons that I've always wanted to play around with, which are the silenced magnum and the silenced sniper rifle. These two are really cool. And this is a CE magnum with kinetic rounds. And although I can't demonstrate the, you know, the disintegration animation, because there's no one here, I can show you the attachment. There is also an unattended side effect where it's kind of muted, even though applying a silencer to this weapon actually sounds different, so it's kind of a weird glitch. Here's a standard Halo 2 bayoneted BR, and this one's really cool. This is basically a whispered truth. Yes, you can two-shot people with it, and it's super satisfying. So this is like the no-scope machine. The DMR with sniper rounds, and I'd like to 1v1 somebody with this no scopes only, just because it would be so hard. This one's pretty much just an aesthetic weapon. Uh, the animation from charging up is just triplicated because of the closed fist combination, so you can have like a red cloud following you. But other than that, it serves as a normal Spartan laser. And yes, this is a scoped golf club. I know, it's really weird but it has super long range. You can actually kill somebody like from this distance. It's ridiculous. Now this is a corpse maker sword and it gives you the gravitational repulsion that a hammer does. And I'd like to see this implemented into like a jumping map. People could probably get really creative with this. Moving over to these two, this would be a great close quarters weapon to play around with because of, you know, like Ricochet Supreme basically. And this just makes it rain, it's really cool. But it's super intimidating if somebody actually sprays it at you. But it's pretty cool to just sit by on the side and watch it drop down. So these three are all merged with a bolt shot. Therefore they have, you know, the triple shot property. As if rockets weren't powerful enough, you know, and you have three of them at a time. And then the Goss turret is just super powerful. You can destroy that kind of But going over to these two, I merged these with the Void's Tear. And normally, this will just shoot five plasma pistol shots, but if you zoom in, it will give you the black hole effect. That's pretty neat. And this definitely sounds like a Star Wars weapon. Go ahead and take a listen. I think that's pretty cool. These three are pretty much a progression of discovery. This is the very first weapon I merged with the Ad Victorium, and I'm like, oh wow, look at this, it's so powerful. And then I got to this, and I'm like, ah, this is so crazy. And then I got to this, and it was super insane. Like, look, look at how many projectiles actually come out. And with all of these, you can direct the trajectory of all the rockets because of the Ad Victorium perk. So that's super neat. There's also a glitch that comes with it, though where if you shoot it at anything that isn't like a live character they just kind of sit there and shimmer for a bit but eventually they despawn so I'll sit here until that happens, it's kind of cool there we go and then the last one is like for paint you can just like paint the sky with really cool animations play around with it go and watch that's pretty neat if you ask me and these, these are just all my favorites. These are not every single combination you can make. There's a bunch more you can do. But something to keep in mind when playing this map is that it seems to not want to work in customs, so you want to make sure to load it up in Forge. But that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.